but it's okay. Just of some fuel. Um, I can start like this, then send the guy there maybe for the boarding. Will take a while. Layout seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, eleven. That works. Run plant. Oh, be master immediately. Okay, then. Guy with beam only? No. He's a girl with beams only, yes. Also, do this. Good first fight. I didn't save the positions. A weapon wise, we are fine for a while. So we just want to upgrade shields first. misplayed oh my god I should have just fired this immediately uh, the stupid fucking I forgot about the mantis popping pheromones and uh, not being careful enough for the the switch around I should just okay yeah I don't know I'm playing bad because the with the ship you just um you don't fight until you, your teleporter is ready you move around it's so easy but sometimes I just fucking forgot how to play this game It's fine, but it's pretty bad to lose crew early with boarding ships. Jesus Christ. Can I, one of you stay here, please? I don't think I have anything that I can do. Federation store. Nothing that I can... I mean, I can sell the, the bomb, honestly. Whatever, let, let's get shields up. It's gonna be awful now, though, with just two crew members. But it should be fine. Uh, winning, I joining crew with mind control. This is gonna be awful, but I'll try. Okay, that's very bad. Please get out of there in time. Ah, this is very bad. And I don't have doors for this repair. Ugh. How the fuck did I lose doors there?
Can I even win in the med bay? I think I die as soon as they pop pheromones. let them destroy that oh my god this is so bad all this because I lost the stupid guy I have to do this. I technically have to wait for the next mind control. It will destroy this, but it's fine. I mean, this is my fault. I shouldn't have lost the guy. Um. um The previous fight, and then this fight would have been way easier. Wait, do I have Nox? Oh, because it was, um, yeah, obviously. How did I end up in this situation? Because I'm bad, that's all. It's fine. I have to take advantage of the... Um, I have to repair this before they mind control again. Wait for mind control. Do you have hold bust with this? No. We have to force the surrender, at least I get the stupid mantis. Distress. Sure. Actually, it's better to do this. Wait, is it even faster? No, it's not. Uh, it doesn't have more speed. The three months one I see, so it doesn't matter. I don't even know why I did that. Oh, 
from here I think I'm buying the human Should I buy the human? I don't know, it's just fucking cheaper Yeah, let's buy the human. What if I scrap? It's not too bad. Even if it's human, who cares? Screw. You. Yeah, no, no Sylvan. This is just good, very good at the moment. I mean, it's very good in general in multiverse, so. Quite enough. Can I get more? This is three. We're skipping the store, so we do one, two, three. And try to get two shields before the elite fight. Okay, easy fight, and we might get crew here. If they have a shell, it would be insane. I mean, that guy's good as well. There we go. Why buy mantis when you can get them anyway? That's pretty good. I think I can board immediately then against the elite fight. I was thinking about letting the first guy board and then boarding. But like this, it's probably better to just board immediately. Uh, salvage. Will he attack me if I attempt to salvage though? If I if he attacks, I mean I have missiles. It's fine. Okay, I don't even have to do anything. Okay. Sector 1 was pretty awful because I misplayed, but we managed to stabilize it and be in a decent spot anyway. Maybe I should say that after I win this fight, but hey. Heavy energy, not great, but it's okay. Liberated sector, yes.
My ship sucks for the link. But, I mean... We try to find it. Ooh, nice salvage. Okay, check here now. This should be fine, just board, stop the missile and I shall win the fight. They have no med bay. Very good. Uh, bad can go in weapons. Double store immediately. I'm honestly considering getting um Ah oh, fuck, I actually wish I had um Yeah, we're upgrading weapons for two reasons. One, uh, this is good for resultant and shield removal if you get the the link, and two, this is good to kill um, auto ships in case we are fine and we don't need to use the Pegasus to preserve missiles, and also good to remove resultant shields in case we find the link. Another Angie. He can go engines. Hey, all rocks. Put the thing there immediately. I can auto fire the, the thing. Careful about mind control. Okay. That doesn't matter. Uh, that called the mother. Should have switched to this. Nice. Good enough, I guess. But yeah, should I, if I switch to the Pegasus after for the last shot, I think I could have avoided the damage. Okay, this is auto ship. If I don't kill it, I lose beacons though. Be too awful, please. It is kind of awful. Yeah, fuck it, I'm keeping the Pegasus. Keeping the leeches here. So if they get my control, I'm not losing... Um... I think I can switch now. For the last one. That's one of the best events if you can well kill the ship. <laughs> you can, you're losing uh, beacons. And you're probably taking damage and you're not getting nothing. It's a good example of a uh, risk reward though. 
Oh god, Link now. I wouldn't mind getting both weapons online before the Link. I could do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can take one more. And I'm gritting this just in case this is an hazard beacon. Advanced ventilation. Yay. Uh, where do I take the power? Uh, whatever, we have to go. I'm kind of hoping it's not the orbiter immediately, because I don't know if I can do it. Do it. Hacking, clocking, uh, two shields, payload, and harbinger. I don't know, I think like I'll, I'll die if I take this fight, but I really want to take it. It's pretty annoying, but though. I mean, I want the true ending for unlocks in case we get special crew. Otherwise, the run is kind of whatever. I, I'll take like if I was uh, win streaking, I will skip this. For example, this is an example of fights that if you're win streaking, you just avoid because it it has a very high chance of just killing you, and you can win the run easily if you just skip it. But I want the the possible true ending unlocks in case we get special crew later. So. So we risk it, and uh, well, if we die, we die. Yeah, about that. Fine, we don't need shields anymore. Technically, it was actually good for me. Fine, you don't need oxygen. Maybe, maybe we do. Easiest orbiter ever. Are you fucking serious already? Come on. Uh, why? Fuck off. Could even get enough scrap to buy another augmented. My ship is so fucking weak for this. Thank you, Sergio. Do you attack them for the drone? This fight is not too bad. I can't use the drone though because we have teleporters and we need hacking clocking. Okay, there is a possibility actually of um, skipping hacking completely and going clocking drones. Clocking drones teleporter. I have way limited, like it, it's good and technically even better if you end up getting the good missiles in the ancient sectors. Like if you find Onslaught Carnage ca and Carnage, sure, fuck hacking, you don't care about hacking. And you have the, the drones on top of, like even just defensive drones are fine, but if you can get the, um, if you get Arbingers, you can use the Aromanted to pop shields. Fire Carnage into shields. You obliterate their shields and then you have the... Um, your Arbinger drones that they, they destroy the enemy ships. But playing the mid-game without hacking is very risky. 
Especially since you're not really taking advantage of the drones for 90% of the run. It will be just a an end game thing in the ancient sector. So I don't know. But we can just get the drone, right? Fuck it. Because like normally with boarding ships, um I did this and I buy this augmented. But we don't have the scrap. So I think we just forced the fight for the actual drone. Like why the fuck not? This ship is not too bad. I think this is the chain flak, which is low as fuck. I mean this could be a V2 though, and they can have offensive drones. You know what? Fuck it, let's go for it. Okay, no offensive drones. I can't board them, obviously. Thirteen seconds, yeah, you can't stuck the thing. That, that, that was... I think the drone is 30-something, so this is probably a 40 scrap reward. And this is technically Sector 2, so... Good. We can board at all this entire sector, so... Yeah, that's the main issue. Also, I forgot about this guy. Why am I surprised that I forgot? I always fucking do. It didn't die for the entire fight because of this augmentation. I don't want. I mean, the leeches here actually is probably the safest spot in case of mind control. I don't want them here because then I have to vent them and they will go to shields. If they are here, they will stay in teleporter. I don't care about teleporter. It's easily ventable, and then if they go to engines, it's not too bad. So we, we keep them there. Now we look for ruins. Um, okay, if we attack them, we can remove. Okay, we can board this ship. They have billions of crystals though, and they lock down the room. They can easily kill my borders. Maybe we don't attack them. Hail them. Yay, there we go. Sure. Augmented store. I will gladly go there if I had more scrap. It's a shit spot for the store. I think I'll die against the ruins fight though. They probably have two shields anyway, even in sector 2. So I had to just spam Pegasus, the heavy energy doesn't do anything. I could get an Arbinger there though. Ah, whatever, let's go. If we die, we die. Two shields, those weapons and drones, yeah, it's very bad. We try anyway. I should just start firing weapons, probably. He can go through. Payload teleporter. I mean, I can play that instead of the AV energy against two shield ships since the AV energy doesn't do anything. We 
Did you mean this fight, probably? Yes. Okay, that drone doesn't matter. Oh my god. I mean, one shot goes through anyway. And the payload here, and I can switch to the heavy energy because it removes two shields. Pop. Destroy your own ship. I can fire once. Then I can switch. Payload again, and then switch. Uh, I think I have to fire. Can I be greedy? <sighs> I mean, it's two shots and this is the bridge stuff. Oh, thanks. That works. Man there, fuck. So we already ex checked those. We want this, the second store. And the third ruin. I mean, this is too good to skip. Um, the human? Yes. The body's human for 35 scrap. And now it's gone. Play them like this. I shall probably upgrade weapons so I can play payload and heavy energy at the same time if needed. Perform a task. We already did this. No, we didn't. Nice. Augmented store. I should probably try to get the second, um, the third ruin before before going there. Uh, I either lose, I lose something anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then anointed. If or one, two, three, four, five, six. It's literally the same because um, we checked these three beacons or these three beacons. So it's a 50 50 to get the ruin. It could honestly be here as well. So actually, going here it's better. We check four instead of just three. Better odds. Still almost a 50 50, but I slightly better odds, so go down. So, pet fire once, then we switch. That's perfect. Payload here. We are faster than this, this is a shit weapon. Oh yes, pop. We could get an additional damage. I mean, it could deal damage to the system, but not even.
Are they gonna do it? They will, but... No, they won't. So, two here or three here for the ruin. Sad. Yeah, but with this connection, we can't uh, really do much. One, two, three, four, five. Stupid ships with two shields. Seven missiles left. Six missiles left. I need an average of two per fight. Not good. If we don't get them back. Speed up a bit. Don't miss. Okay, we got the two back. This shit in sector 7, it's always a good run, right? I mean, sometime, sometimes it's fine. If you have clocking, hacking, and stuff. Am I getting jabated again? This is Eradicator 1, right? Like, this is very small compared to the one we got that uh, they had yesterday. So this is Eradicator 1, I'm pretty sure. Evil system is still a scrap, flak heavy peers and whole laser. Yeah, I mean, with between the, with those weapons, you can hack weapons, so you can hack weapons, clock their their volley, so it it might be low scrap, but you should be fine. Obviously, those weapons are not particularly great for flagship, but if you have uh, all the systems and if you can get a few additional upgrades, it should be fine. There is no way they don't have another weapon, but I can see shit. What's the other weapon? The other weapon can easily kill me. There is no way it's just Eradicator 1. They, they needed at least another 2 power weapon. I mean, it's Sector 2, but there is no fucking way, right? No drones, no other systems, and just Eradicator 1. What could be so small that it doesn't appear at all? It could be a payload. I mean, payload into shields against Eradicator 1. I mean, I can easily die if, they, if that happens. So it will be one damage from the bomb. I go to 12, and then the Eradicator is to, to damage each room, it needs to fire twice. I don't have a multiverse trick, we're just unlocking ships. And also the streak doesn't matter anyway, like... That, that, that's the reason why I didn't care too much about win streak in the multiverse. Like, I, I did it just to try, but like that, that streak it's, it doesn't has almost no value after that patch, because now the game is just different. You gain less scrap, things are different. Every single patch of the game will be different. So even if you get a good streak, it, it doesn't mean anything for the current game. 
I'll risk it. I can even repair once. Wait, it's literally just Eradicator. That's very surprising. It is Eradicator 1, right? I'm not fucked. I think. Yes? Okay, we're perfectly safe then. You guys panicking for no reason? I don't know. Just out of fire until they die. Forty percent fire chance, Jesus Christ. That's why I'm getting a lot of fires. And... are you serious? Like, now that I have a ship that, that doesn't want to go drone control, I get double Arbinger in this sector? Come on. Come on. Uh, last chance, it's here for the next ruin. Skip hacking. It's greedy as fuck to skip hacking. Because I'm not using those drones until the very late game. Uh, no point firing the payload now. They will just get repair value. Let's wait for the clocking. Nice fire. The fire is good because it deals damage to the Lanius. So he has to pop and deal additional damage to the ship. Which means I do this once, then they pop and they will destroy their own ship. Right? Right? Why is no one popping? That's so fucking rude. Ah, I mean, we missed the ruin. I mean, we went for the four against three, and I guess it was here. What if I do. No, I don't know fucking way I'm diving. My ship is too bad for it. So we give the man there. I mean, with double Arbing in one, I might actually go skip hacking. But it feels greedy as fuck. Wait. Um, what's a problem? I can't use more missiles though. Mm, 
can do anything. Anointed doesn't have Zoltan shields, right? I feel like I want the uh, the ion uh, reverse ion field because of the uh, of the energy stuff, but then I have less scrap for the store. I need missiles to proc the surrender. Uh, this is gonna be awful. Can I afford to craft reverse ion field? I think he rolls, he has the stupid carnage, even in Sector 2, which is disgusting. So I'm keeping the payload, I call board with the augmented, pop there, move them around to avoid damage and bring them back. It's kind of risky, but I think I have to. I need that additional damage. Between that and the payload, it's 6 damage in weapons. Also, I could remove the carnage immediately because yeah, it's the slowest one. How do I deal actual damage to the ship, though? For the surrender? Like, I want Reverse Ion Field, I want Teleporter level 2, I want weapons. Maybe I'm selling the Arbinger drones, and fuck it. Especially, yeah, because I think I need hacking. If I don't get hacking, I have to use many missiles, and I'm already low on missiles. I could buy them, but fuck it, it gets expensive very quickly if I have to buy missiles. I think I'm skipping reverse ion field. No, the drone will kill me if I skip reverse ion field. Shit. That's the only upgrade though. Augmented Plumbe. We don't care about this. Even if it's nice, especially for this fight. Third element, it's 30% more ranged damage. Augmented are very good, but it's it feels greedy to buy them. Preflak is good. But it's way too expensive. This is for the anointed. I need the payload. <sighs> Keeping the Arbinger seems so greedy. Like I could get 70 scrap if I just sell them. And I'm not using them for a very, very, very long time if I keep them. Clombe is nice. But also annoying. Hmm. 
The problem is also, I don't know how strong the anointed is in sector 2. I'm pretty sure it's still double energy thing, the basic one, plus carnage, Arbinger drone and hull repair drone. Now, the only thing that changes in that stupid fight is the shield bubbles, which is kind of stupid that that's the only thing that scales. I don't think it changes anything else. At least every time I went that fight, it literally was the same, regardless of the sector. The only thing that changed was the, were shields, bubbles. Like obviously, I could just keep the fight, and technically, that's what I might, what I'm supposed to do. But I want the ancient sectors. I feel like every time I skip the ancient sector, I'm kind of. It feels like I'm skipping the run in its entirety. Even if you have normal unlocks with the ship, I want to push for the ancient sectors as much as possible. I think that the play is just... A, I, I can't be greedy on every aspect. Already taking the fight is greedy. So I should throw away the stupid Arbingers. And buy Clombe. I mean... Probably. And buy missiles. How many can I buy? There are 10, but it's 50 scrap for 10, Jesus. Heavy energy, I'm pretty sure it's useless. There, he has two shields at the very least. And we play those two. Like, the big thing is remove the stupid carnage. We, we have to sell this. Keep the man there to get the anointed. Fuck this thing. Actually, I mean, it's good for the fight. I could sell it later. We get Clombe. It's just safer with it. At least 10 repairs. I mean, to 20. I think I need at least 10 missiles. What if I stop to 8 and I buy an augmented? Because I will have a triple augmented anointed boarding with the fertile teleporter. I wouldn't mind too much if I was playing. Um, and I can pop and it's 3 damage on system. Actually, okay, they should guarantee getting the carnage down. Because they have they should have 5 weapon power. It's the carnage that it's 3. And then 1 power for the, the energy stuff. So if I board with 3 augmented, I'm popping the carnage immediately. And that's a big deal. Who's getting out of the ship? The leeches? The leeches are pretty useless at this point since I have augmented boarding. I'm probably removing them. Mantis are just better anti-boarders. And the leeches being mind controlled, it's actually awful. Since they remove power from my systems. Okay, um you can go here. You go here. Augmented's go here. You're the new shields guy. I don't... not getting the power, obviously. This is good to counter the... the borders. I might keep it and not repair more. I can repair one. Yeah, let's repair one. Fuck it. 21. Should be good enough. Right. Well, let's go. My ship is very weak for the anointed, but there is a chance. If I die, I die. Fuck it. Yeah. The two energy stuff, the carnage, and the drone should be whole repair, and the... Um... Um, Arbinger one. They should remove the clocking immediately, so we can just board and pop.
If they board and pop in my med bay, I'm gonna get fucking mad though. You can pop it there, it's fine. Can I board in time with this guy? I don't think so. Oh, are you fucking serious? I could maybe trigger the surrender. I don't think I can fix it with anyone. I'm just dead. I mean, I can get the anointed, maybe fix it with air. I don't know if I can do it in time. I mean, I knew that could have happened, but I mean, fuck you, I have 50 rooms and they have to board there. I have literally no, no way to prevent it. Get the fuck out, fix this. I don't think I can pop them again. Yeah, I'm probably losing everyone here. Yeah, there is no way I can do it in time. Doesn't matter if I bring him back. Extremely unlucky. I mean, yeah, I have no counterplay to that. Like, I knew it was a, a possibility, I just cannot do anything about it. it. It either happens or it doesn't. I have no way to prevent it. Like, if they board here and they pop, I just, I just can't do anything about it. I mean, I could have had the other crew not die, but in that specific fight I can't. I also have zero missiles. I literally use everything I had for this fight. All my crew, all my resources. How did it pop? There is something wrong with some hotkey. It, it's not about the mod, it's even in vanilla. Sometimes I trigger abilities without clicking anything. Just with my mouse. I don't know how. And it's pretty fucking annoying. I don't know what's the issue with the art case. I, I don't know. This might be that coming up. Why? Just because I have one crew member and no playable weapons? In a forced fight, I could bribe them with 21. I have the scrap. I'm probably getting boarded by 50 rocks. I don't even have the power. Oh, fuck. Yes, yes, and damage ability. Yes, but it, I mean, I sometimes use these special abilities. I don't know how. Well, I'm fucking dead, I can do this. This guy will also decay, probably, unless I can somehow avoid the damage.
I can't even dodge the bomb if he goes there because there is no door nearby. So fucking bad. It's almost impossible to stabilize this run. I have nothing. I mean, if I if I find a store with, I can get scrap there. I didn't even get missiles. I'm I'm behind. I'm I don't have crew. I don't have hull. I don't have scrap, and I don't have missiles to use all of my weapons. So yeah, I'm behind literally everything. If I find a store, I could sell stuff and try to... I don't know. I I don't know, I'm, I think I'm too behind on literally everything. No point trying to dodge. I can't even fire before this stupid thing with this weapon. Are you serious? and I'm dead. Even a, a mini flock hit will kill me. So especially if I miss this heavy energy, I'm dead. Okay, that was the good miss. One hole. It should be three, but I popped my augmented. I don't even know how. I could, I could, it could even happen again. That's why I, I, I don't know what's, what's the issue. But sometimes I pop my abilities without clicking anything. Beacons, 
Fuck off. What do we die with the Stellar Flare? Rock store, we might not even get it. What happened to the crew? Augmented boarded Clumbe and uh, popped. Buy the rock, go to that store and buy the mine launcher, right? Easy play. pop to damage gain value by dealing some damage first They cannot deal with the bridge. Let's be dark. And now we wait until they die. Actually, there is a plant, I think. Do this, it's fine. No, oh, no, it's defending that. I don't want to take damage with my anointed. It's crap for this. Fine. 
Just two of them. If you small match to win this one, will this be your biggest comeback in FTL? No. Not even close. I'm not saying it's easy to win this run, but because it's not. The, the problem with comebacks is that it's um, it's not entirely up to you. What the fuck is it popped? Wait. Wait, it doesn't destroy it. I had to check for the solar flare in case he was popping my Columbe. Oh my god, you're so slow. Fix the teleporter before I can board, that's actually pretty fucking annoying. Attack the slavers, they have teleporter, those weapons have to go through Zoltan shields. I mean I need scrub. Were they completely the sync and I just sync them? I don't fucking know. I I don't know what's my biggest comeback, but it's also, I mean, comparing vanilla and the uh, multiverse, like the game is just different. This guy's the king anyway. Like I'm boarding with the anointed, so it's either someone else that doesn't need oxygen or there is no point really. Yeah, you guys were wishing, uh, what if you destroy the enemy ship and you take it for yourself? That's essentially what the anointed did.
Bio kill the enemy crew and keep the ship for yourself. Was supposed to be the other way around, but I. Can I take damage if I put anointed in shields? Oh my fucking god. Oh man, you're still alive. Just two guys. This fucking run. Liberated sector or leeches. I can fucking see leeches going into my clombe. I mean, Liberated is just better. It's better events. We can get Separatists that are nice. Uh, we can get Murder Bots. Pirate store. I don't even know what I could possibly want there though. I mean, I know what I want. I don't know what can I afford. There is no point in buying crew unless it's an aerobic crew, like a ghost, but the chances of getting stuff like that is very low. A one power weapon will be nice, but I can't even play it immediately. I don't know, I think it's still fine to check the store. If we get it, otherwise, well, it's a fight. I mean, they're too expensive anyway. I mean, Particle Missile is good, Artemis is good, but I don't have many missiles. All three is bad.
Five battery. I've had more missiles. Either Artemis or Particle as my only weapons will be fine. Between this and the Augmented Pop, it's pretty good. I just don't have missiles. I had to use so many missiles in the Augmented Sector because I couldn't board the ships since I had the Med Bay. And then when I finally got Clombe and all my guys, I got fucked by the augmented popping in the med in the Clombe. Honestly, even a separatist could be insane. Because I can board with the augmented, pop in weapons, and then keep a separatist in nano mode there to prevent repairs. Or at least delay them as much as possible. It's a big investment, though. Is it worth it? Ah, fuck it, let's try. At least we are testing something. Nano mod is not ready. Does it get healed with a jump if it's in, it's in nano mode? No idea. It does. Good. I'm not risking my fucking energy. Can't do anything. Another store, fuck you. And it is just borders. Am I cloning this guy as well? Yes. It's just a tank, so we want him full life. Hey, Link. I mean, if we can kill the ships in the Link, we get the drones and good stuff. Like, it's a double reward, but it's a dangerous fight. They will probably have three shields. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. Start with this guy here, because if it's this as the rain, we're getting borders. Invent this immediately. Can I get this fight? I can't take damage from the anointed itself. Never mind. Okay, they have, no, they they have defensive drones. It's like NG ships. They all, all always have defensive drones. So as long as I can keep the augmented in shields, I shall be fine. Right. By the way, offensive drones, right? I thought they always roll defensive drones. Last time... Every time I saw these fucking ships, they had... Um, they always had uh, offensive, uh, defensive drones, and now I roll fucking one with offensive drones. Fuck you.
This is fine. It's not ready yet. Wait. Couldn't get a decent timing for the for a better pop before. Unless it's this knife fucking clombe. I'm cloning the separatist as well. Bridge is nice. The problem is for missiles. Delaying fleet. Ah, oh, the mind control the anointed, please. This is so risky, though. Do I board weapons first? I might have to. The way bridge here. Okay, the fight should be over. Nice, that's good. Should have been the other way around, but it's fine. Uh, put this guy here. We get uh, two additional uh, beacons. This is a very good event. Okay, I need one minute before continuing, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Are we not going ancient? I mean, the idea is to go there, but at the moment I'm concerned with just surviving. If I survive to sector 8, I, I think I'm going uh, to the ancient sector, but just getting there it's gonna be problematic. What sector to go to? I mean, it depends, again. Mantis sectors are also very dangerous in multiverse, but if you can deal with borders, then they're fine. Mantis sectors here are way more dangerous compared to vanilla. Usually Mantis sectors vanilla are the easy ones. The ships have, their ships have no systems and it's just boarding. Here the boarding is way more dangerous and those their ships can have systems, so yeah. Lania sectors it kinda depends on your crew again. Like if you have plants it's not too bad, if you have other anaerobic crew it's not too bad. I don't think there is any specific sector that's worse. Am I checking the merchant? What can I even buy there though? I just want scrap. Maybe it's selling, uh, I don't know, ancient weapons that I can't buy. They have flux and other good weapons more often. I'm not sure, like it's obviously not not a great sector for most ships. Especially if you're a boarding ship without Columbe. But even, even like on average it, it, it could be one of the worst sectors, just because... Um, Especially for board, like I think if you're a gunship, it doesn't matter too much, unless your crew is very weak, and uh, it's bad for boarding ships unless you have full anaerobic crew anyway. But that's rare. So sure, on average, Lania sector could be one of the worst ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I could sell drone parts as well at the merchant. Yeah, I think it's fine. Even with the re reduce value. Oh, this is murder bot, nice. I don't think I can take damage if I keep the anointed there. Actually, can this thing stack? I have to kill this guy. And we can pop again eventually. about this person is very nice. This guy's getting cloned. The other two are fine. Let's see. Get scrap for selling drum parts. I don't give a fuck, I'm selling 15. Flock one is good, we can sell this and just play Flock all no, that's that's very good. 
Or most of the unlocks you need at this point in the page 12 ending unlocks. Most of them, yes. I mean, I need the... Um... Okay, there are a few new ships with this patch, like this one. So I need to... I need Sector 5 and win the game with this one to unlock B and C. And then I I had to unlock the new the new ship in the Zoltan sector. The I don't know the Osmians, I think it's called. I need to unlock that one. Because it's new with the patch. Then I need the unlocks from the bringing a unique crew to Silver and to the true ending. I need all those. And then I need like Jerry ship. The crap bucket. The ones that are you need specific events in the game. But yeah, I have most of the basic ships. I'm just missing the new ones. I could keep the heavy energy for now. Even if I don't think I'm using the thing anytime soon. Like, it's not bad, it's just expensive to play. I want systems. I can keep it and sell it later. I could upgrade for the breach. What if I get a store though and I miss it? Yeah, getting a system will be more important, so let's wait. Anything else here? No. I mean, this is good as well. Double flock plus hold two on top. It will be way better than heavy energy. But again, it's too expensive to upgrade for it. So I'll, I'll skip it. So if you trade with Sylvan, he loses Zoltan shields. So that's the trick. You trade with Sylvan, and then you take the fight when it doesn't have Zoltan shields. Easy. Oh, they have a ghost. They're countering my master plan. Oh, the ghost is gone. Keep it planned. Ron anointed. Keep it medic. Uh, that's a problem. Wait, is this the last guy? It was. But yeah, we got a lot of value from the separatist. Definitely was good to buy it. There are many events here that give you a separatist, but you might miss them like I did, so... 
Nice. Double missile here, and they have hacking. So I have to wait for the rock first before boarding. Look at the strat. Oh, never mind. Don't board here, please. Uh, I don't think I can do anything about that. I should just board with my fucking guys. They're almost dead. We can go anointed triple separatist boarding. It will never repair this system. Side with the separatist. Fuck you, Harmony. Um, that's a problem. I have murder bots. So that is good. Fuck, I forgot about their clocking. I feel I should clone this guy now. This stops repairs. I want to check what's happening. Next is Mad Bay. Then we work with the Anointed again. Is it going? Nice. This is gonna be so stupid, but I He thought NG boarding was a meme. Still is. The anointed bodyguards. Okay, I'm upgrading for the breach in case we have a forced um Guard fight for next to sector.
You think that matters? You're dead. If I do this, I can take damage and lose the Clombe and lose my anointed. So let's not do that. Shit. You know what? You're getting cloned as well then. Forgot he was not in nano mode. Okay, let's see. Automated shipyard. It might actually be good for me. Can you get Jerry in the automated shipyard or has to be at the normal rebel sector? I don't know. The good thing is that at least if we die with the ship, we can play the B for the layout C. So in that case, I don't even mind going and dying in the ancient sector. Assuming we survive long enough to even try. Don't mind control my anointed, please. Wait. Up to now. Okay, now we have to do something very, very important, which is wait until this guy dies and gets cloned, then we deal damage. Because as soon as we deal more damage, we might trigger the ASB. And I really don't want to do that. And lose my stupid anointed. I forgot about their clocking and repairing. I'll do this. Najiram, sad. We have the other, um, also, you shouldn't be there. Where should I put you? Okay, ASB triggered. The empty rooms is a bit annoying. Oh, the timing was off. This thing is so slow, Jesus. Close, but not enough. I'm repairing. It's it should be hard to get stores in the sector, or it can be hard. So I'll just repair. Fuck it. Do I use this? No. Just go for a full repair. Oh, you're getting cloned.
Something's fine. Let's avoid the guard uh, fights, right? I mean the ASB fights. What's better here, or is the same? I think attacking auto ship is just better, since we can breach. Okay, we should be fine. Oh, they don't have the doors. Nice. I can speed out, this thing is not coming back. The drone might though. Pretty sure they didn't breach. Yeah. I can only really see the heavy. I have a dev clocking. Columbia arc will be awful. Okay, that's fine. I cannot take damage at the moment. BM engines preventing repairs. Um. This is faster. Come here. Oh, you don't want to? Why? Ah, they're fine. Get this. It's time. And then we craft Clombe DNA Bank. Ancient Sector with DNA Bank, Clone Bay 3. I mean, I could switch to Med Bay later if I really want to. But getting the safety now, it's just good. The Beam Master. Stronger than ever. We can kill everyone with just the engines in the end. We did this. 
and they will try to defend this room for some reason. One by one. Civilian store, it could be hacking. Uh, it could be clocking as well if I get a bit more. Go here first. Ah, shit. What's the crew on this fucking ship? Free Mantis design. Wait, they don't have the invasion tactics with the Free Mantis? Should I trust these icons? And they have no invasion stuff? I don't know. They don't. Oh my god, I couldn't board in time. Fuck you. Are you serious? Fine, thank god I upgraded to that level two. Can I... Yes. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. That thing is a level as well. Wait, why did they move it? can pop just stop for repairs they have I level I level oxygen as well so even with a breach and close the doors, oh my god. Wait. I know how to do this. 
Teleport here, shit. Send this guy up here. Stop the repairs there. Up. You go up here. Hmm, there are many left. Should be should be over now. They're never getting oxygen here with two breaches. Yeah, it's just this guy. And I tell by no mantid, yeah. Anointed by a killed my ship, and I wasn't dead only because I took the anointed at the end of the fight. What's this thing? Jesus, 3 power, 25 seconds, 5 shots. They have a radius as well. It's a lot of damage. I don't know. We can keep it here, then we'll, we'll decide. Missile bypass Zoltan shield? No. Even with bypass, they don't. So we can get clocking. Mamas. Going back to Missile, Ghost is also nice. No systems. I'm buying the Mamas. Am I ever using this thing? It's 5 to 10 damage every 25 seconds. Let's say an average of 7, there'll be more. 7 whole damage every 25 seconds. Obviously it's less if I'm fully trained and stuff. Also fires. It has low chance. But it's in multiple rooms.
Basic defense drones can shut down. What does it mean with basic? The one that target every projectile, but it shuts down by the ones that target missiles. Is that what it means? No idea. Basic is ones that only target, so it's the other way around. That's weird. I think it would have made more sense the other way, but I... I guess it's harder to code, though, that way. I don't know. I can see myself going full damage later. Like, we could play this as a weak Carnage, essentially. Carnage is 3 power, 17 seconds, 6 damage. This is, okay, same power, way more uh, charge time. And it's more damage, but less targeted damage. So it's obviously worse. I mean, it's significantly worse. I don't know. I'm buying this though. For repairs. I think I'm buying King as well. It's a fourth border that doesn't require oxygen. Magnetic payload is also very good. It means no augmentations though for the rest of the run. It's possibly second best. Like for raw damage. I mean raw damage onslaught it's all, it's the best one over everything. I don't know, I think this is a mid-tier weapon. If not, like, it's it's a situational weapon. I wouldn't play this thing in probably 95% of my runs. It's not that good. But it, it has certain uses. And for what I kind of... For what I want to do, it could be okay. I'm not sure. I can keep it for, like, if they start add clocking and I want that scrap, I will just sell this. Am I buying the magnetic payload? Man magnetic payload is so insane for the final bosses. I need a lot though, because I still need the Zoltan Shield Bypass, I still need the um, DNA Bank, and I need Hacking and Clocking. So using 40 scrap right now, it's... I mean, it's a big investment. And I am missing scrap from other augmentation if I find them. And we could find the thing later. I mean, I shouldn't bet on that though. But this seems a very common augmentation, or at least all the runs that I did, I'm getting this thing multiple. I'm I, I'm seeing this thing multiple times each run, and I think it's one of the best augmentations in the game. I can see this thing being nerfed. Either damage wise or rarity wise or. Scrap wise, this thing is very strong. But I like the concept of something like because um, it's comparable to the combat augmentations. 
that disable systems. But the combat augmentation, you can use this thing every single fight. Or if not, you can use them in multiple fights. This thing, it's one use. But that use, it's very impactful. So if you keep it for the final bosses, this is huge. I'm buying it, fuck it. Even if it might be a mistake. And honestly, I don't believe in this. It's just too slow. I'm... I want the scrap so I can craft DNA bank and the bypass in case I get an empty beacon. Did they move away weapons from all the other system to make boarding more annoying? I don't think so, but sometimes it feels that way. See if there are other stores. A forest. A platform. One, two, three, four, five. At least not every auto ship has doors. Uh, boosted and anointed was probably way more damage than the ghost. I should have kept that there. I'm not risking that. It's a 50-50 to gain or lose a beacon. You get you get a map update as well, but the map update in this case doesn't matter. Also not even getting the additional beacon. Ship crash landed the full closer. Grab the ship. Okay, just stuff. I assume that the vent has possible bad outcomes. I mean I need scrap though. Like the ship. Clocking is annoying. The end mine controller is also very annoying. Okay, they mind control that guy, so it's fine. Scary Ninja. Jesus, come on. I believe in you, Mamas.
Grab all that you can. Ooh, Hermes. Five plus six missiles, this is a good. We could transition back into missiles later. I have enough to craft the replicator as well. Not yet though. I called it this though. No, I actually have to keep the breach there just in case. Oh, that's annoying. It's fine. Not going anywhere. Temis doesn't use missile, sort of. It's lower and it doesn't have um fire or bridge chance and um it doesn't have the whole bust mechanic that deals double damage in empty rooms. Still pretty good. It's one of the best weapons in the game. Especially early game. Later in the run, obviously it's not as good. But it's, it's still a pretty solid weapon, even... Like, if you're going for a normal run, it's still pretty good. I want to craft. But I want scrap. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to get scrap. I have to craft when I get an actual empty beacon. Don't mind control my anointed, please. That's fine. Is this the route where you lost all your crew and had one anointed left? Yes. Pirates are ruined. Uh, not Jerry Shans. We go here because this could be guild and this could be the rebel sector for Jerry. Sort of. I mean, you're missing systems, that's the problem. Also, both sectors are red, so it's a forced guard fight. I have to upgrade, which means this. Stupid fucking plants. Okay, we should be fine. Is we rocked. Uh, the 
could be a problem. I can't bother with the anointed actually. I just can't. It's too risky. I can kill all of them, it's too much. I should have just ended the fight. This is not, not worth it. You don't even get anything from a pirate uh, ship. Hmm. Yeah, that was not worth it at all. Um... Guinea Bank Bypass. Repairs. Seven repairs go to seventeen. No, let's just Yeah, we need systems. Got to find stores. I mean, we need some scrap as well first. Bring it aboard, let's risk it, okay. I think the bad outcome is just borders though. Okay, we have the bypass, which is nice. Turn to the pop. Move these guys. That could have been bad. I mean, I have the DNA back now, but still. What's happening in that ship? I need to see that's happening. This is also happening. Good timing for the bypass. One, two, three. Yeah, double distress store. Um, yeah, if I'm killing them, pretty sure I'm getting... The, the bad outcome would have been just a reactor. Plant. Uh, 
I'm not keeping this one alive. Since he has some weapon training. Clock, clocking or rocking? Uh, clocking is better. But the other is fine. Okay, nice clocking. That's it, right? Not nothing else. Can I afford a battery? Not to sell too much for a battery. Okay, good. So another sector still. Then the reroute if we get a special sector, otherwise we normal sector 8 and then we activate. I don't have shit for the ancient sector though. Except for this guy's boarding and popping one weapon. Yeah, I don't know, this doesn't look great. Oh, my control anointed. Hey, Vasilius TV. Just crew kill the ancients. Seems reasonable. Back in the day, you could do that. I don't even remember what was diff. Like, okay, many, many, many months ago, the ancient sectors were very different. Way easier. But now I don't even remember exactly how they were. Then they got reworked a lot. Yeah, I don't remember shit. I remember them being different, that's it. Ah, uh, should I fire the... Level 3, great.
I didn't fire that. You die, please. Who the fuck is still alive? I actually destroyed the ship because of. Uh, fuck me. It's fine. They jump immediately. Yes. Bleach store. Um we go here first. Oh my fucking god, another stupid boss. And it's this thing. I can't remove their weapons. Oh, fuck. This one is very bad for me. It's actually very awful. I think it's one of the worst bosses I could possibly find. Give Angie pheromones. That was Pidact. This is bad. Weapons is a resistant room. I have to try to run. That boss is too bad for me. If I had clocking, it would have been. If I had arcing and um, if you have arcing, that that fight is fine because you can clock and arc weapons. I mean, it's still bad, but yeah, you have something. If I close the store, I lose it. By the way. If I buy Flock, I can go for Weapon 6 and play Double Flockle 2, which is a very good setup. Instead of relying on Missiles. I think I have to decide now. Missiles or no Missiles? This is where I to, This is the store. Where I have to make a decision. And I think the decision is no Missiles because... Um, If you go to the ancient sector, they have Zoltan shields, and just missiles is shit against Zoltan shields. So I have to get weapons.
And then, I mean, I don't know. Because going weapons is more expensive. Upgrade-wise. Obviously missile is expensive because they can run out of missiles. If I go missiles though, I can go drones. Maybe I'm staying missiles. I have the Mamas, Hermes, and Breach. I can play I can play those weapons. I don't even have to upgrade. I can craft the replicator, then I'll need um, I mean I need replicator, I need scrambler, I need drones, I need 50 more sectors. But I think I want to try that. I could even keep the flak just for resulting shield removal to help a little bit. And if that's the case, I'm buying battery for sure. And there is drone control. So we go for the... No hacking plan. This can help at the moment. And then I use double offensive drone later for um, Zolta Shield removal. But if I plan to do that later, probably I should invest the scrap in this thing. Like the scrap in multiverse now, it's a problem. So yeah, no, I'm not buying the thing. And keep this for Zolta Shield removal. In case we don't get anything for a very long time. A bit weird that in this event you lose the store as soon as you close it. I think it's the asteroid field fucking this up. Dive. Ergen Capital. I mean, if you get a special leech, but it will be it will die against the. I mean, it's good against the MFK flagship. I mean, for the few seconds that will will st that will stay alive. I don't think you can make the leeches immune to suffocation damage. It's still a special crew that you can get for the Ancient Sector. 
We are gonna die there, but... Fuck it. Are we attacking? It should trigger the ASB. So probably I shouldn't attack. Like, I will be okay with the fight itself. But uh, yeah, I don't want the ASBs. So the quests are outside of the nebula, which kind of sucks. So this is outside. So the quest will be in the next sector and they might be overtaken very quickly. I want scrap. Dock for that guy and teleporter. so far I have to breach here actually I think I need another breach here actually I don't think it was disabled it wasn't necessary Yeah, I keep fighting. Thank you. 
I have so much damage. Incredible. See if this is one of the quests. Good luck, the big one. They have no med base, so they will die. They have the stupid leeches, though. Okay, that's one. Um, equals sell what? So what do I need? Clombe up, teleporter up, clocking up, scrambler. Another offensive drone. Okay, I need a lot. Do we have this? No. I shouldn't craft stuff right away. Another mamas. There is no scrap icon. Does this mean? It's 22, nothing. It's free. Double mama's true ending. What can go wrong? Easy. Check down there. One is enough. We clock the missile.
I forgot to test the other option. I don't know if this is the right run to test the, the thing, since we are very behind and we are trying to go to the ancient sector, but I could have. Okay, this is the, the other one. Okay, that's not a teleporter. Fire here and then we board. Nice, the combat drone is very good. Where do we play this guy? This guy against the ancients, he feeds upon drones, mechanical and er energy crew, rapidly draining their health. I could keep the guy in weapons or shields. Maybe weapons. You go here. What about the other guy? Is the other guy worth keeping? Oh, this is the other quest. Attack preemptively on this ship doesn't seem like a great idea. Okay, quest here. What's the best upgrade I can possibly get? I think it's just Scrambler. Drone recovery. I mean, we'll, we'll, we will spam drones eventually in the ancient sectors just for resulting shield removal, so probably.
And then actually we will start with the replicator. Mansion, then Lich Store, then Cash. I lost a few beacons. I mean, one. No clocking. Wait. The stupid leeches and shields, Jesus Christ. Do I try to buy a kill? This stupid arc is so bad, I didn't realize how bad this is. I can't pop this guy anymore. Wait, you go here, you go here. This is perfectly fine. This guy, I don't know. It's good against the final boss, sort of. Like, if it doesn't die, you, you remove shields instantaneously, all of them. Assuming I will have good uh, Arbinger drones, that's a lot of damage. can try
My control on this guy is awful, so... Like this. Oh. He was damaged. So this is horrible in the ancient sectors, but it's good against the actual final boss. Yeah. I don't know if it would be enough, but hey, that's the, that's the plan. Should I attack them? If I trade, what am I even buying? I can't sell anything. Music is so spooky because leeches are spooky. Makes sense. I don't think I'm getting enough if I... Like, I should attack them. What am I trading for? Can you guys think on anything that I might want to buy? I don't think there is anything. Yeah, let's just kill them. That's how you kill leeches. The thing is not enough. Fucking high level oxygen when the single breach is not enough to remove uh, oxygen. Why is this guy taking damage by the way? Like, it was already damaged, I don't understand uh, from what. The rocks. Oh, I see. He's taking damage when he goes here. Fucking pony. Any mind control is fine except for the augmented anointed.
so you kill the lions. One of the weapon, as many supplies as you can, one of the survivors. As many supplies and you get this, fuck you. I think I did that the previous time as well and I got fucked. by no supplies. I mean, to be fair, I don't need a weapon or crew. But those supplies are shit. Forgetting about this. So we're going against the MFK, which is uh, shit. It's pretty awful. I need this, this, this stuff. I'm gonna die. Not even that. Yeah, I don't know. I need, um... Like, I need clocking up, drones to four, scrambler, power, teleporter level two. I can keep one MFK behind, I mean one NG behind, and I board with these guys. I could even board with this guy in weapons, actually. If I teleporter four, it would be so much better. Yeah, they will be killed in two seconds, so I really can't at the moment. That's fine. dead. Nice. Check their map. And we get what? Could be clocking. Scrambler. I think Scrambler is too important. And that's it. Wait, wait, wait. It's just scrap. Mm 
just a scrap. So take as many beacons as possible to get scrap and then go to the base. I shall, I shall avoid the ancient sector and just try to win the run normally because I think with this setup I can win the run if I go for the normal flagship and just get the unlock. But I wanna try to go for the true ending, fuck it. I expect to die there though. Ah. Uh, clocking. No. Get the drones up, it's better. And normal power bars, I can't. It's 75 plus, yeah, we need the basic stuff first. Mm, I should have kept one back. This has to be enough. And pop again though. Yeah, it's not enough at all. Ah, uh, they will repair. I can let them. Don't destroy the ship. Fifteen. I mean... Okay. Sector 8, bio kill for 15 scrap. I don't know if this ship is low scrap reward. Normally, like just because it's the MFK in the base, I fucking forgot about that. Uh, let's wait until this guy dies again. Now I'll go down here. Perfect. Not even a good sector for scrap. I don't think I want to fight phase one. And also if I fight phase one there, I have to fight phase two as well. I think that's a bad idea. I should probably skip and activate now and die. We're probably dying at the very first fight, by the way.
Ah, too bad. Fuck it. I can't even activate. Ah, oh, come on. So I skip the fight for no reason. This is so fucking annoying. Well, if we take too much damage, we might skip the ancient sector then and continue normally. Otherwise, I'd, I'm dead 100%. Ah, fuck. It's the fucking worst. Give them here so they die. I want to see what's happening. Is this happening? How can I destroy this though? Do I have to? Okay, it okay, doesn't die. But it dies here. Too late. Wait, where the fuck is he going? Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, I destroyed the system, so... Whatever. That guy is still alive. It's, it's fine, it's just one. Fuck. Yeah, if I want for if I go for the normal win, this is easy, and it's an unlock. But I don't know. We are pushing for the sector, ancient sector, anyway. Even if it's sort of a suicide, my ship is so weak for the ancient sector. And I had to kill phase 2 as well. Thank you. 
Uh, I can go from here, Jesus, get the fuck out. This is fine. So what do we do? Just win the game or 99% to death? What do you guys want? I'll let you guys vote since I need to take one minute. There we go. Let you guys vote. I need one minute. I'll be right back. I'm back. I guess we're gonna die. 
Um, I have to jump here and then back to the base to activate the stupid thing. to kill the guy now considering um, we were essentially dead in sector 2 and we came back up to this and uh, like if I want to kill the flagship it's a very an easy fight so it would have been a normal uh, win that's nice I lost an unlock by not winning the game, but it's okay. We can play the layout. If I die, I can play layout B, and I need just a sector 5 for layout C. Okay, go and activate. Things that I want before activating power. Are we taking the guy? I could replace the rock. Yes. Normal engine. I mean, normal engine is repairs. be stabilized for this fight. Two potential unlocks. Yeah, if we don't die, right? Just don't die. Easy. Why die when you can just not? Oh my god. I mean, it's not a big deal. Because of the delays. It's actually fine. I have to keep one of this engine in my ship. For the borders. Or Mamas. I'm hoping for Onslaughts and Carnage. Just give me double Carnage Onslaught and uh, I mean a thousand scrap. We are so behind scrap wise this run. It's okay. It's okay. He 
You replace the leeches or lose the leeches? I mean, I lost everyone against the anointed because on a, one of the augmented popped my Columbe. So it was literally only anointed from Sector 2. But I mean, at this point I would have replaced, replaced the leeches anyway, especially for this sector. Useless. No doors, at least the guy are not dying. I think this can pierce. So let's pre clock. They're dealing a lot of damage anyway. This is not breach, so let's keep them there. Thirty three scrap. I want to test this. This is like it's dealing a lot of fucking damage against the stupid guy. That's not bad. Oh, I still in cooldown. Did I even attempt this? Nah, fuck it. Atomizer. Yay. I'm cloning them. At least this one. So we shall be able to explore any everything except this. And if that's the onslaught, I mean fuck you. My god, my game fucking crashed. Shit. Special sector, yes. But... We are very weak for that sector, so it's very likely that we'll die. Yeah, I saved the, the save file. It crashes instantly. It might be a permanent crash loop, if it's like this. I 
I think the run is fucked. Oh my god. It's so annoying though. Clear up in console before the crash and delay the enemy ship. I'll try one more time. Also, it's possible that the now the, the continue it's even gone. Yeah. Let me put the save file back there and see if it happens again. I'll try one more time and then I'll try with the console. And then if that doesn't work, I think we're fucked. Pretty annoying though, because uh, I could have ended the run and just get the unlock and whatever. We went to die here and then we lose because of the crash. That's so annoying to have to throw away the entire run because of that. Because I don't think it's avoidable in this spot. I'll try without doing anything, see if he crashes again. He boards, he tries to go to the door and crashes. Hmm. I didn't put the file there. So we can, we should have time for the console command and do what? Do you guys know the console command? I don't know the commands. Delete the fight, lose one beacon since, I mean, fuck it. Just delete. Ah, oh, fuck, it's so annoying. Instant kill the enemy ship. But do you, do you get the scrap? I mean, in both cases, it's pretty shitty, though. I don't think it was a bad fight, but... Will it ever be fair, though? Because, yes, I don't get... I can remove the scrap, but I don't get the beacon back. That's the annoying part. Remove all. Like they have 10 hull. Is it normal that they have 10? Is 10 hull normal? Maybe because they have the Zoltan shields and stuff. I don't know, seems weak. Not complaining, just that I never noticed. How tough is this fight? I don't know, it should be fine because it should be perfectly fine. Because you can clock the carnage, one of the Arbinger goes down, and the other is tanked by the shields. I don't know what are their drones though. <sighs> that seems a lot, even for this sector, after the update. 48. I don't know if I called. <sighs> it's so annoying. Because I don't see a way to fix this without. Because I will lose a beacon, and I think the fight would have been fine. Annoying, but I don't know, I'll continue like this. 
Can you spawn in your fight? Can you? I have no idea. I mean, we might die anyway, and so it doesn't fucking matter, right? This doesn't matter, they have no crew. Jesus Christ, the purifier. sound makes sense right let's speed up I can't take damage anymore I mean technically I can they they repair the breaches uh, get oxygen Oh, that's why. The speed up was gone. Your damage level 2 arc versus level 1. Yeah, but we don't care too much. Now we have DNA bank and stuff, so... Elvarin. Oh, fuck that. Is, this is still the same event, you take 80 damage, right? It's too much. Ooh. Do I want this guy? I don't think so. It's not better than my guys. I want to keep the leeches for potential unlocks. Separatists are better. Ghost is... I mean, is the ghost doing an anything? Actually, maybe the ghost is just shit. What is the ghost doing? I mean, it's nice against the outer ships, but very marginally, and it doesn't do anything against the bosses. Is a unique name? Multiverse has other unique. I mean, no, it's. I think it's one of the names that you can. Actually, I don't know. I don't think so. It should be one of the new multiverse names, but I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, the Kill for the Leeches to make them provide power? No. I, I, this run was just no scrap. I couldn't, I couldn't get anything. I could get it later, but at the moment I can't. I need to keep scrap for stores. The ghost is sabotaging any twice as fast when boarding. Not against normal ships, because there will be crew there. Unless I go for his upgrade. I could go for his upgrade later. That's probably good enough. I don't know if I have the scrap for everything I want to do though. I have to buy drones, I have to replace my weapons. And I can only replace them for missiles, because we skipped hacking in this run. So it, I, I need missiles, I can't replace them with anything else. So we, we really want the Onslaught and we want to find... The ideal setup will be Onslaught Double Carnage, with double Arbinger Drone for damage. 
Sonic teams are pretty good in their auto mode now that's an auto mode. Yeah, I don't know if it's... I feel it's too... I don't know, I don't like it. It might go and repair shit that I don't care about and stuff like that. It might go and die against guys, which I mean is not necessarily a big deal since we have Columbe. But I don't know, I think I'll skip it and I try to get this upgrade. It feels more relevant. Mmm, that's fucking annoying. Bit of damage this fight, but it's fine. Worth it for a maintenance run, yay! Great. Oh my god, I should have moved the guy out first. Go from down here, otherwise you die again. Yeah, and this spot was better to go for Akum. I mean, that's the one of the problems with no pause. You have to do something. You can't really think of what's the best play immediately when you have to do 20 things. No pause player playing playing will always be inefficient compared to just pausing, especially with multiverse, since there is a lot going on at the same time. With vanilla is not as bad, because essentially fights have less variables. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we're keeping for stores. Ah, oh, jeez. This is a bad one. Especially since they might just run. Yeah, we're killing them. I'm not even bothering trying to get this kill. Uh, this uh, like you just can't. How do you fight? How do you bio kill those ships? It, it, it's just so stupid. Like you have to do so much work to get a bio kill in, on those ships. Like, stabilize the fight. Making sure they're not running away. I don't know. Like, even with boarding. 
You have to keep down 50 different systems. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible, it's just that it's a lot of fucking work. I didn't see this thing. Oh, is this level 20 drone control? I mean, it's not surprising if it is. Maybe a bit, but not that much. Okay, save the store. And buy Carnage. Oh my god. It, it's fine. We, we board and pop. Dev clocking. Never mind. We can't do that. Fuck me. I'm so bad. I forgot. Oh my god, I can't switch them. Oh, fuck you. I guess purifiers is another one of those weapons that is very good for the enemies and shit for you. Any other engines on doors? There was a reason, I don't remember exactly what it was. Okay, they have Carnage. No Zoltan Shields. Carnage is already pretty good though. Payload is shit. Recycler is also shit. We can't, uh, we need scrap. We shouldn't run out of missiles anyway. Six for repairs, Jesus Christ. Payload is awful. Like after the nerf payload, it's so bad. Carnage drone is also bad, it's too slow. Like the drone is... Uh, is Zol we need the drones for Zoltan Shield removal. This thing is awful. I, I, I could even consider in this thing just for Zoltan Shield removal, honestly. Even if it's expensive. Carnage drone, it's too slow. It's very, very, very bad. This is one of... Okay. This is probably one of the best weapons in the sense that... Um, I mean, phrasing it like that, it's shit. What I want to say is, this is one of the best weapons for the enemies. And one of the worst thing weapons for you. I mean, drone, whatever. It's just too slow. Like, you don't care about the shield piercing. And we need this drone, we need faster drones to remove the resultant shields.
And I might consider this instead of the normal Ion Drone. It should be better. Is it worth the 75 scrap though? Like normally I wouldn't care, but with the scrap reduction and, and, and stuff, 75 scrap it's a lot. Uh, Carnage is nice. It got nerfed a bit, but I think it's still good. So this is happening for sure. And we replace the Hermes. Keep the Mamas for now. I mean, I can keep the Hermes. So I can be having like the Amp Ion Can, but I'm not amping the thing because then it's, again, it, it becomes too slow and I don't have the power to sustain it. Like, I will replace this for, um, I mean, this is double damage on, energy, on, an, on the thing anyway. I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, I can't really. I have to backtrack. I will see if I can do it or not. I'm repairing to 28 and then I'll try to repair for 4 with normal fights. Is there no flippers? It's the 10 delay. You can explore almost every single beacon. And you need, you need them. I mean, ideally I want Harbinger's drones anyway, later. If, you, if this was the second store, I would probably buy it. Also need normal upgrades. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Like, even just upgrading for the Aramis is a better use of scrap. But I want to check the second store first. We find it. I mean, we're finding it for sure. Where are the where are weapons? Got a clock of that. Fixing my shields, no one. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. Fucking hating my sky as well. Maybe I literally no reason to keep it there. I think one of the idea was to have this guy closer to the teleporter to board and, uh, uh, and use his ability. Should do this. Maybe. Weapons upper shield. Uh, weapons first. I kind of waiting for the store though. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be awful. Mm -hmm. 
I might die here. I mean, shields is good against drones, and that's it. Uh, against the other fights, it doesn't really matter if I upgrade shields. It sucks, but like, if I do this, I can't afford the shit at the stores. My god. Pulse are fantastic. Nice. I don't even know why I'm venting. Reverse Iron Field is so fucking good. Come on, murder boss. So it's here. Technically the best spot. Can I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? I can. But I'm not charging. It says four. Nah, there is no fucking way. Even if it's just Zelda Shield removal, it's. I don't even know why they nerfed this thing. No one plays Irons. And it's pretty rare. I mean, I can keep it there, sure, but we're not playing it.
Can I afford to clock this or do I have to wait? I think I have to wait. Now I'm clocking it. Oh my god, I did it again. Oh, it's there. Okay. Atomizer. It was just the fucking purifier, fuck me. It was a mistake. to be dead. Not dead yet. Harbinger 1 is good, no missiles, Zoltan shields, almonds. I mean, Harbinger is good. And Zoltan shield is good. Yeah, repair price sucks. So, this for sure, and I want this draw for sure. At the full repair. Laser beam work? No, it dies in two seconds. I mean, you can technically board right before swiping the beams, but it's unreliable. I mean, you can't really disable anything. It, it, it will die in one second. 
they have no oxygen, you have no way to protect the guy, and the artillery is so fast that even if you board and you disable it for a few seconds, like you're gaining a few seconds out of it. You're gaining more seconds by just boarding with the anointed and popping. You can board with both, and that's probably what I want to do. But it will die very, very quickly. Like, my setup is just very weak for the ancient sector. I mean, I don't care about another ghost. Like, I can't even craft the lab stuff. I just, I just can't do anything at this run scrap-wise. I'm too behind. Get more missiles, I don't fucking know. Like I want to, up we're getting the, the mine launcher, so I want to upgrade for one Mamas. I can't do anything else with this stuff. Now what, what could I get? I can't get the Zoltan shields, obviously the Pregniter sucks. Um, like I wanted a Reloader, I want a Recharge Boosters, I just can't. I can't afford anything. I'm even behind in power. <laughs> Jesus. These are for the drones. So this should be the mine launcher. There we go. Is run the poorly on scrap or is the scrap balance at the point where you need to pick priorities? For the ancients, you need to pick priorities. You can't upgrade everything you want. Like it's fine only if you get many special sectors and the reroutes. Or if you get a mine, like, okay, if you get normal sectors, if you don't get a mine launcher, you're just behind. Like, it's fine for the, that, that's what I mean with, it's almost impossible to balance the game for, um, for true ending and the normal game at the same time. Like, this run was perfectly fine if we just play normally. We killed phase 1 and phase 2, and then we activated the thing before phase 3. Otherwise, phase 3 would have been free. They had no crew, I have bypass with borders, so the fight is over as soon as you board. But for the ancient sector, you need a lot more, and even in the ancient sector, the scrap is very low in comparison. Like, you're probably getting 60% of the scrap compared to the previous... compared to before the patch. So if you don't get a lot of value before, yeah, you just don't have enough. I kind of wish it was, but I don't know if it's doable, having uh, only the ancient sector with the previous crop values and keep the normal game as it is. I don't know if it's possible though. Anyway, try to get my get the mine launcher. Hopefully we won't die. Oh I should have bought that with the other guys, right?
Oh, this is my ship. Is it good? It's not. But hey. Let me think what do I want to do. It's probably breaching artillery though. Double mamas. It doesn't matter because we are not running out of missiles. So this is literally a, a worse Artemis. Like, missiles are not a problem. Isn't Hermes better than... Hermes is to power, I can't play the Hermes. Otherwise, yes. I don't even have weapon training and reloaders. I can put this guy in weapons. I mean, or just this guy lost the training anyway. Like, no reloaders, no weapon training, my weapons are way slower than normal. Like, this onslaught usually it's below 5 seconds, now it's over 7. It's pretty good in multiverse there, you say that earlier. The crafted pre-igniter it's different, because it's a pre-igniter, but then every single uh, volley after the first one it's 30% slower. So for my weapon setup it's bad, because we are firing multiple volleys. The pre-igniter, craft, the crafted pre-igniter is good if you can kill the enemy ship in less than three, two maximum three volleys, otherwise it loses value. And I, don't, I think we need more than three volleys. If we play Onslaught, considering it's one of the fastest weapons in the game. I don't think I'm ever even trying at this this guy. It will just die in two seconds. It can reset the one artillery timing though. So I can do it. Send this guy here for some evasion and then this guy into weapons as soon as we make sure it's not getting mind controlled. I don't know what else I can do. This power is for drones. I have battery for engines. I think that's a good balance actually, yes. It's just that I'm, it's bad for, for me at the moment. And I don't have scrap. Like I got nothing uh, this run of scrap. Like, normally... Before this patch, at this point I will have... My ship will be fully maxed. This will be fully maxed. And um, I will have all my lab upgrades and inst internal uh, upgrades. Everything will be essentially maxed. Here, I'm missing stuff here. I'm missing power. I'm missing any lab upgrade. And I'm missing um, many of the internal upgrades, like reloaders and stuff. Shield recharge boosters. I think I am probably over 1,000 one scrap behind and not a run before 5.0. Pretty sure it's more than 1k scrap. Even the previous win that I got in this ancient sector, uh, the, win the win that I got was 3,500 scrap. And... Uh, before the patch, you usually finish with 5k. So 1500 is a very big difference. 
But anyway, this is what I have. So we board artillery, pop there, and then try to use this guy, not immediately, just to reset when it's about to fire. Or before this guy dies, I don't fucking know, but we'll see. Then put the guy, this guy into weapons at the start of the fight. Ask it for shield a lot in the first ancient sector, just fine, maybe that's an issue. Yeah, I skipped. I was skipping the fourth shield, and then I took I took fifteen damage against the against drones. That's why I upgraded shields. Like shields at 200, 200 scrap. Even if I have two hundred scrap, I I can upgrade what clocking to level three. That's it, and then I don't have scrap for anything else anyway. It's not just shields. Like, I would gladly skip shields if I had the other upgrades, but I don't have hacking. Removing Zoltar shields takes ages with these drones. I don't even have high level teleporter or multiple augmented to proc. Anyway. I uh, actually want them. I'll just save file just in case. Second test again. Later. I could use the payload, but if I use it here, then I mean... Alright, the mind control. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, immediate fight, fantastic. I wish they will change this, by the way. Like, having a, a difficult fight right after another, it's pretty awful. I mean, I guess it's not too bad in the specific case. Go on, cool down. Double Momos is better than Hermes though. We can get Sylvan, probably replace the normal Angie. Use the Eradicator, yeah. No hacking. What are my best upgrades? I don't even know if I level up, uh, if I can afford um, 
I mean, clocking at least level 3 probably it's good. So the best thing will be second carnage, clocking up. Reloaders. Can get slow back up the DNA. I'm pretty sure I can get it with the with Columbia three, right? Like it works with Medbay three. She'll work with this. the very end. What the fuck was that? Wait, was that an artillery? I didn't even know this. Ooh. Okay. I did a Mark III Royal. I mean, then I couldn't have done anything about it. I was spamming my stuff in weapons, I think. Can I play it immediately? Mm, I can't. I mean, I can. Just use everything, fuck it. That's a bit better. One, two, three. This is cheaper than the store, probably. This should be 6 crop at the store. Carnage is insane. Like, even just the... Um, sprite.
Sell the stuff. And buy what? Second Arbinger one instead of the combat one. More faster result and shields removal. Is actual missiles to print the missiles. It disassembles them, it takes the good part and then it makes a better one. I mean, it, technically it's firing multiple shots, so it has to print more of them, right? Makes sense. I took board with only one guy. That's a power bar. Do I need a power bar that much? Yeah, that's what I said, they like Missiles are never a problem in ancient sectors. It doesn't matter how many missiles you add, you're fine. Even if you spam them, you're not running out of missiles. You get so many of them. That's why ancient recycler, it's sort of a bait, especially after the patch. Okay, before the patch, it wasn't a big deal because you get so much scrap that you're not using it anyway. But after the patch, buying ancient recycler is a very, very, very bad idea. Like, you can afford to lose 15% of the scrap gained. It's too much. Am I buying this guy? Just for a power bar? Power bars are nice. It's also two more damage with a pop. Yeah, I mean, one more damage. I think I'm removing the ghost. At this point, I don't think I can get, go for his upgrade. And uh, for anything else, it doesn't do enough. Interest I was 100%. 100% less scrap gained. That will be pretty awful. Recycle literally every single scrap into missiles. Trying to think. Well, what do I want? Reloaders, right? First the reloaders, then clocking up. Yes, that's the plan. Actually, I need the Columbe for the merchant. Pretty sure I need this level 3. Sylvan is still nice. Yeah, the boarding is sort of unnecessary, but at the same time, why the fuck not? We lose the training? Oh no. I'm surprised the anointed still has training. Mm. Alright, Chrome powers.
Oh, I don't need the drones. They have no Zoltan shields. Imagine not having Zoltan shield in the sector. What are they doing? Who are they even here? Bio killed me, nah. He didn't. Doesn't his thinking power shields? They're too superior to have Zoltan shields. Alright, you get this guy now here. I forgot. I level threat MFK B Master Ace You finally upgraded So Radicator 1, Double Arbinger 1 and this is um this is the beam that doesn't deal actual damage, right? I think. Maybe. We bio killed. Okay. Bio killing with Carnage Onslaught makes sense. I got the weapons. I think they changed the, the dispatch. Now level 3 is fine. Even with Mad Bay. If I had the same card, you wouldn't have bio killed them. I mean, they shot them at the same time, so if they die, it doesn't matter if you overkill the ship. The fight ends immediately. It will be different if they had Columbe. I think it's good that it's level 3 um, medical, because, um, I don't know, I never going med or clombe 4. Like, this personal is too good and the DNA bank is too good. It's also way cheaper than um, clombe 4, and you can get it early. We need an anti-beacon before this fight. I have jumps. Because we need to craft the upgrades. Royal Dreadnought can still destroy me. I will take this because it, you get a random uh, uh, ancient weapon, but I don't need them, so I'm uh, skipping this one. Since we are, even if we get a decent weapon, we are not selling it probably. Now let's get some crafts. Uh, Reloaders is the most important one. Anything else that's very good that I want. I think locking. Locking level 3, yes. Locking level 4? Shield recharge boosters and the more Zoltan shields could be the next one if I can. I don't know if I can. I need to craft the, the shield recharge boosters first for Zoltan shields. And I mean, probably getting clocking 5. I mean, clocking 5 it's not lasting anyway. I think 4 is good enough. Maybe even 3 was good enough. Board with Sylvan. Right, we can board with Sylvan. It loses the training though. Do I value boarding with Sylvan more than having we fully weapon trained? Maybe.
Maybe you do. Cut upgrade him to not lose it. I don't have the scrap. Like you have to install the lab and then you have like... I don't... I want to do 50 things. I just don't have the scrap to do them. It's not like before. Like before you could do everything and you didn't even think about it. Now you, now you have to decide. Which by the way, it's a good thing. Because that, that was one of the things that I didn't like before. It essentially it removes... It sort of removes the decision making part. Because you can just upgrade and get everything, so you don't have to decide. I, I like the fact that you have to decide now. The level of training when clone? I'm pretty sure it does. It doesn't have anything that says otherwise. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. If I had a Columbe, I mean Teleporter 4. I mean, but this thing in, on the Bomb Artillery, it's so good. I shall probably board with him. I have this guy that's almost trained and I can put him there. Okay, let's train this guy. It's annoying against Mind Control. Okay, let's not keep it there immediately. And then if they don't have... Because the Royal Dreadnought has mind control. That's why I don't want to keep him in weapons immediately. Or I lose power. That will be awful. Jumps on Ancients. Yeah, but it's not good as a border. It's fine as anti-border. I mean, fine in the sense... If they board there, it's fine. Moving the guy, it's not, not really. And it's vulnerable. Like, mind control sucks on the guy. That's why I can't keep him in weapons or shields. Like, I don't mind if I lose a fucking power in engines, it's fine. But I can't risk... Uh, like, even having him in doors, it's very risky, because if I lose doors and it's my control, it's going for weapons. But, I, I mean, I can play around everything. And mending door is nice. And if he wasn't that slow, I, I will put him here, or somewhere else, and then move it later. But it's so slow that he has to be close to the system. So we want this. Yes, that's the next upgrade. Let's see if they have mind control. They do. Yeah, I can't risk it. Ah, whatever. Do you guys think they're nerfing Carnage and Ocelot again? I think it's not even a problem about the weapons being too overpowered. It's kind of a consequence of... This fighter, I have to kill you before you kill me. And this thing is just the most damage output. You, you reach a point where I think it will be very, very difficult to balance them to the point where they're either the best thing or you don't play them at all. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's difficult to balance this. They have mind control, but they shouldn't use it in time. Second train with this guy. Last beacon. What can I get? Teleporter doesn't make any sense, we're boarding once. Engines. Maybe. Drone buffer, shouldn't be... 
I mean... I don't think I care about the drone buffer too much. Not with the setup. I don't think up is not too bad. I think I'd rather get 5% evasion and it's a sort of buffer. Maybe I'll go for piloting before the MFK fight. Okay, they can't mind control immediately. So as soon as they board, as soon as we board, they're mind controlling one of the borders. So I can start with Sylvan here. Power for the drones. And then bother into shields. I mean engines. Magnetic payload is for clocking MFK final boss in case we survive. I think that's it. Let's go. Oh, never mind. We have another fight. Forgot. The news. Can you get one of them? Oh, this opens a store. I think it's fine. Triple carnage. Free flak. Enough. Oh, Preflock will be so good for Zoltan Shield's removal. Can I sell... I don't know. What can I sell? One drone is not enough, and I, I don't want to sell them. That will be so good here, Jesus Christ. Murder bots? How much is murder bots? 30, it's not enough. Sell Arbinger drone. I have to sell two things. It's it's not worth it. I mean, I can just buy this guy and replace. I don't know the second separatist. Come back to the store. I can't. There is nothing else. Hmm. It's another damage with this guy. Like between anointed, it will be four damage plus the Sylvan stuff. I can obliterate shields for the drones. I mean, I'm using it on the artillery. Reflag is also for Zoltan Shields. That's only for Zoltan Shields, but I can't get it. I rather have the drones. R drones can deal a lot of damage if I spam Carnages into Shields. And I'm not doing it against the, the Royal stuff, because I can just target weapons or artillery. But against the MFK flagship, since I can't target uh, the artilleries, I can spam Carnage into weapons. I mean, into shields, and then maybe I can deal damage with the Arbingers. Like, we spam Carnages into... Um, into shields for actual damage, and we spam Onslaught into Clocking to keep it down with the Breaches, so they can't repair it, since this thing is not dealing damage. That's the plan. I think I'm buying this guy, it's a power bar. Remove the Zanji. What about removing uh, Wither? Ah, yes, training. I probably value the training more at this point. He can tank as much as him, almost, so...
So this into artillery. And then uh, I fire all my weapons into their weapons. Let's go. Where are they not mind controlling? Please die. Okay, we have enough for uh, five repairs, right? Yes. Separatist with E. No, because he sucks at repairing. I already sacrificed enough repairs. Look, look at this fight. I had no shields for the entire stupid fight because I, I removed ev everyone that can repair. I, I need someone that can repair. They don't have enough power to mind control immediately. What was the difference between the the previous the patch then? Pretty sure they mind controlled immediately before. I don't know though. Maybe maybe I remember. Maybe I don't remember. I don't know. So these guys are going into. Stupid guy. Am I speed hacking? Yes. Yeah, he is more like eaten. You just can't afford to keep her. Oh, we can even use this. Doesn't matter. Five repairs will have been good enough. But sure, we don't need the drones. It might be better than Wither, though. Thanks more. I don't think we're using his ability. It just has to stay in piloting. This guy sucks at repairs anyway. Maybe we can, yeah, we remove Wither. All these guys into shields. Can I get doors? No. Not even piloting. I don't know, whatever. Are we ready? Yeah, might as well be. I think you're getting one fuel here for some reason. Magnetic payload. Locking. This augmentation is so insane. I can see it being nerfed. Maybe they. Because it's very common. I think they will make it rarer or more expensive. I don't know. But it's very good. Why not payload shields? Because then we can 
they will clock for 10 seconds at the start of the fight. Now they, they essentially don't clock at all. But they double the price too much. It depends on the run. Because I bought this thing in Sector 5, I think, to use it here. Actually, maybe it was a bit later than Sector 5. But still, I bought it quite early, just for this very moment. Yeah, you can use it once, but it's very good for the bosses. Let's go. They are already repaired. Yeah, I'm not getting fucked. Can I survive this? I have clocking if I survive this. Jesus Christ. Easy. I mean, rip crews are on lock. Oh, because you don't have the crew? Maybe. I mean, with Clumbe, I think they're still alive. They count as still alive just because of Clumbe? I don't know. Let's see. Actually, yeah, you don't have the options for anything. We won, but we, we lost the unlocks. Right. Let's see the scrap. 3600. Yeah, I don't know. Before the patch, this will be 5k probably. 1400 scrap difference is a lot. <laughs> 